Ain't nobody quite like you Got me falling through and through Straight to the top I'm tumbling My roller coaster's rumbling Hey guys, it's Chachis I'm back So today I wanted to share with you guys 10 foods that I miss from living in the US. If you're new to my channel, by the way, my name is Jennifer. I moved to Mexico two years ago and originally I lived in DeKalb, Illinois. All right, so let's get right into the video. So number one, uh, which I think if you know me and if you watch my channel, you're gonna know and you're gonna guess what number one is, but drum roll please. Coffee. Coffee is the number one thing that I miss from living in the US as in food and drink wise. Coffee culture here is not as big as it is in the US. US I think it's like um, everybody's working, everybody's running, running, everybody needs their caffeine to function because everyone's always tired, right? I get here and then I realize coffee is not as important as it is in the US. You know, people aren't big on like buying lattes or all of this expensive stuff, obviously. You can find hot coffee here. It's just, in my opinion, it's not as good as it is over there, so I miss it. And obviously, I miss Dunkin' Donuts. And they are Starbucks here in Mexico, but to be honest, in my opinion, it's not the same either. I mean, like, it's good, but they're like, they're not like good at making coffee if, like, that's been my experience as well because I have gotten attacked before, like, in my video that I made about, um, the pros and cons of living in Mexico in my comments, I was being attacked like, well, that's where you live, blah, blah, blah. And I just want to like highlight and specify like that everything I'm saying is based solely on my experience and where I live. I'm not saying all of Mexico is like this, but where I live, this has been my experience. So yeah, number one is definitely coffee and that's what I miss the most. Number two is a Chinese food. Okay, there's this place in my hometown called China House and I just like I always miss that place And when I was living in the US my last job was working at Panda Express So I know it's not real Chinese food. So don't come for me I really really love Chinese food and that's another thing that I miss from living here I've tried Chinese food here as well, and I just don't like it. It's not my thing Number three is melting pot Mexican food. You're gonna say, Jennifer, what are you talking about? I always grew up around a lot of people from different parts of Mexico. Okay, so I grew up um, around people from Veracruz, people from Michoacan, people from Guanajuato, people from Zacatecas, people from like all over Mexico. My family is from Durango. So that was another thing that I realized when I came here, how those different cuisines were like a big part of my life. Um, and I just never realized it. For example, like I got here and I told my mom like, wow, I really want some tamales from Veracruz. But by the way, uh, one of my best friends, Eric, he's from Veracruz and whenever he invited me to his family parties, trust me, I was there, okay? Because they have some bomb food. <laughs> I really, really miss like the melting pot Mexican food. And I guess being around like Mexicans from different like regions, different places in Mexico because I grew up that way. If you're from Veracruz, I just want you to know that your food is bomb and I love it, okay? Number four is donuts. I love donuts. I'm, um, I'm a chocolate glazed, uh, glazed, plain, just like kind of girl, you know? I don't really, I don't like sprinkles. I don't like jelly filled donuts, but I just like, you know, those glazed donuts and, you know, I've never had Krispy Kreme. Um, it's really like famous. When I went to, where was I? I think I was in the airport in Guadalajara and I saw Krispy Kreme and I was gonna try it, but I didn't have time. And it was like a really big line, so I didn't end up trying it. But uh, where I live, again, because this is specific to my region, don't come for me, there probably are donuts here and Krispy Kreme, but there is no Dunkin' Donuts, okay? Mexico does not have a Dunkin' Donuts. There is only one Dunkin' Donuts and it's in Mexico City, in all of Mexico. So I'm gonna have to go one day and be like, what's up with your Dunkin' Donuts? Let's try it. <laughs> Number five are corn dogs, okay? Corn dogs and fast 
festival food. August, it was my hometown's festival, fair, country fair, I don't know what you guys call it. And it's called Corn Fest. And my mom kept sending me pictures of everything they were eating. If you've ever been to one of those like fairs, you know those big corn dogs that they sell that they're like this big? Oh my God, that was my absolutely my favorite part about going to the fair, I would eat, I'm not lying to you, and this is serious, I would eat five or six. And my friends would be like, come on Jennifer, let's get on the rides. And I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm here for the corn dogs, okay? I'm not here to get on the rides. But I would literally spend all my time like with my parents eating instead of being on the rides like normal children. Yeah, I know, I'm a gordita from heart. Number six is pizza. <laughs> I know pizza is Italian, you know, but I miss American pizza. There's this place in my hometown, again, I'm just like, these are all places or foods that I obviously grew up around, that's why I miss them. Uh, but there's this place called Vinny's, and that's, oh my gosh, that pizza is like Bon Duty, that's my favorite pizza. Obviously Chicago style pizza, deep dish pizza, just like sausage pizza. Did you know sausage is like not a thing here in Mexico? I know a lot of people aren't even a fan of sausage. I was always like um, bullied for that in school. Not bullied, but you know, kind of like, really, you like sausage? Because when they had those like uh, pizza movie days at school or whatever, I heard how they're called. And you know, you had to like, you would order your pizza, you would pay $5 and whatever. And everybody always, cheese or pepperoni? And I was like, definitely a sausage girl. So sausage is not even a thing here. And that's my favorite kind of pizza. And that sausage pizza from Finney's, all right. Number seven is breakfast food, okay? Yeah, breakfast food. I miss going out to breakfast with my parents and with my friends. And just like, you know, having some over easy eggs with french toast and sausage on the side and warm syrup and coffee and that's obviously american breakfast obviously doesn't exist here okay i miss waffles and like pancakes obviously i can make those here but just the experience of like going out you know to breakfast with my family with my friends and you know drinking a cafecito and all of that like i miss that whole breakfast experience number eight is Portillo's. If you're not like from the Midwest, you're not gonna know what it is. But basically they sell like Italian beefs, they sell hot dogs, they're really famous for their chocolate cake, chili cheese dogs, like you know that kind of food. It's a restaurant, again, in my hometown and I really miss it. Oh, hi baby. Do you guys wanna see my dog? Come here. Say hi, coffee. Coffee, say hi. And they ran him over like a month ago and he had to have surgery and he's still um, recovering. He still hasn't been able to walk like his little foot is up. So yeah, we're going through that. That was another thing I went through. But anyway, let's get back into the video before I cry. <laughs> oh yeah, where were we? Portillo's, right? So yeah, I don't, I, I don't know how to explain it. Like it's obviously a fast food restaurant. I think you could compare it to like in the Midwest, it would be equivalent to like In-N-Out. My favorite thing to get was an Italian beef with sweet and hot peppers and mozzarella cheese and a Dr. Pepper. I would always have to like go buy a Dr. Pepper somewhere else because they didn't have Dr. Pepper and onion rings and a chocolate cake, like a piece of chocolate cake. I would always go out to eat with my friend Elva because she literally lives like across the street and I would be like, hey dude, let's go eat to Portillo's on the weekend. She's like, sure, I'm down and that was our favorite place to go. So I miss that too. Number nine are chips and candy and chocolate and all of that thing that goes into that category. I always ask my mom, can you send me some chips please? She always, she usually sends me hot Cheetos and Doritos. And there's these kettle, what are they? Are they kettle chips? They're like barbecue and 
you can find them at TJ Maxx. Those are like my favorite. And I always send my cousin, I'm like, hey dude, can you go buy me some so my mom can send them to me, please? Yeah, and it's just, it's crazy because when I lived in the US, I always called my aunt and I'm like, hey, can you send me some trips from Mexico? So yeah, it's like incredible. Obviously, when you're over there, you miss the things from here. And when you're here, you miss things from over there. Number 10, soda fountain drinks. I think I said that before. I think I said it in my, was it like my moving to Mexico video? I talked about how, you know, in the US, gas stations, they have like soda fountains and you can get drinks. And um, that's not a thing here at all. And actually not even restaurants. Like it's not a thing in restaurants either, you know? I love Dr. Pepper, but like Dr. Pepper from like a soda fountain, just hits different, okay? So yeah, like the Dr. Pepper specifically from Buffalo Wild Wings was my absolute favorite. I think like some places have it, but they're not very good. And I had this really bad experience where my husband and I went to Subway and I was really excited because I was like, oh my God, they have fountain drinks. It was like a selection of four, you know, at most, but I was like super excited. And then like they give me the cup and I pour the ice and the ice has like black things all over it. And I'm like, excuse me, like, you know, the ice looks, and they're like, oh yeah, like, we're sorry. It's like, it hasn't been working, you know, we've been like dealing with it, blah, blah. So, and they're like, but you know, the soda's cold. And I'm like, no, like you don't understand it. I am literally the type of person who fills my, like in my cup all the way to the top with ice and you know the rest with soda like even at the uh, movie theaters are all like oh my gosh i didn't even think about that but movie theater like drinks too back in the u.s come on like there again i've gotten drinks here at the movie theater and i just feel like they are not the same like you know like they're missing a little co2 <laughs> like so there you have it guys 10 things by the way guys please comment down below anything you want to see any kind of videos you want to see me film so i can film those for you guys but yeah this is the end of the video if you stay until the end thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys